Hi, and welcome to the Instructional Skills Workshop Online, where you'll have the opportunity to be a learner, a lesson designer, and a facilitator of online learning experiences. My name is Beth Hundy, and I'm an e-learning and curriculum specialist at the Center for Teaching and Learning. I'm looking forward to being one of your co-facilitators over the next six weeks. I'm a member of the Center for Research on Teaching and Learning in Higher Education, and I've taught graduate and undergraduate courses in geography, biology, and in higher education. Hi everyone, I'm Joe Lipset, another e-learning and curriculum specialist at the Center for Teaching and Learning. I will also be one of your co-facilitators over the next six weeks. I taught multiple undergraduate courses in film studies and I'm a trained instructional skills workshop facilitator. Hey folks, Devin Vandenboomen here and I'm the acting manager of e-learning and information services over at the Faculty of Education. I've been in e-learning for about 10 years now, working in both the public and private sectors, uh, doing things from healthcare to finance to higher education to technology companies, and working with uh, folks to bring their learning and development visions to an online space. I also just completed my own fully online degree. I just completed a master's in education specializing in educational technology and design, which means that I also have the student perspective of being uh, in, in an online environment. I'm very excited that uh, you're joining us. I look forward to learning from you, and I hope that I get to show you a few tricks of our trade as well. Hi, everyone. My name is Ken Meadows, and I am the educational researcher with the Center for Teaching and Learning, and I'm also an adjunct research professor with the Faculty of Education. And I've been facilitating face-to-face -face instructional skills workshops for almost a decade now. But this is my first time facilitating the instructional skills workshop online, and I am very excited. In fact, ISW is one of my favorite programs to facilitate, and I know I'm gonna love facilitating ISWO as well. So I very much look forward to working with you over the next six weeks. One of the things we know about learning online is that it is not enough to just have content. You have to build community. So one of the things we're going to do is build that community. You will have the opportunity to learn from others, and others are going to have the opportunity to learn from you. ISWO occurs over six weeks. During the first three weeks, you will be participating in lessons with your colleagues. At the same time, you will be preparing your online mini lesson. You will have the entire fourth week to put the final touches on your mini lesson. In the fifth week, you will be facilitating your mini lesson as well as participating as a learner in your colleagues' mini lessons. During the sixth week, you will be engaging in reflection and sharing feedback with your colleagues. If you're still unsure about ISWO and how it all works, not to worry. There are two lessons in the first week that will help orient you to the workshop. The first is called How ISWO Works, and the second is called Mini Lesson Guidelines. Each week, you will also find a to-do list and a self-assessment quiz to help make sure you're on track. So, if after completing the first lessons, you still have any questions, be sure to write those down. We'll be meeting synchronously online at the date and time listed below this video to help answer any of those unanswered questions or anything else you might want to know about your participation in the ISWO. I know that Beth, Joe, Devin, and I are really looking forward to facilitating this six-week journey with you. Now I'd like to take a moment to break the fourth wall of this introductory video and talk a little bit about why we've created it. One thing that you'll find throughout the ISWO is that we'll take so-called meta moments to talk a little bit about why we've taken a certain approach or why a learning experience is designed in a certain way. It's our hope that in identifying these meta moments, we will help make implicit the best practices in online facilitation and make them more explicit. In this introductory video, the first very obvious reason for creating the video is that it serves as a very high level overview of the workshop. In this regard, you can compare it to the first five to 10 minutes of class. It lets students know what the course is about and what to expect. The video does some other things that are important in the online learning environment. The first is that you get to see us. One of the concerns that instructors and students express about online learning is that it doesn't offer a similar social experience as a face-to-face -face classroom. As you'll learn through reading the community of inquiry literature this week, effective online learning is more than simply having students engage in relevant course material. It's also about getting them to engage with one another and with you, the instructor. 
So from a student perspective, meeting us through an online video serves to confirm that we are living, breathing human beings, you know, not robots or anything. As such, the creation of an introductory video like this one is a recommendation that we make to all instructors who are teaching online. It serves logistic, navigation, and social functions. It's a potent creation.